Hello all, Zyso is here, just showing off another application of the balance system I made. What I've designed here is just a simple submarine. Um, the codes, this code here is identical to the um, code used in the bomb pod, in the hovers on the bomb pod. So just check out the, that video if you want to see and understand, uh, get an explanation of this code. And then you'll notice the other only new code in this bit is on these motors. Alright, uh, this one pushes it forward if you hit W, pushes it backward if you hit S, nothing exciting there. The other two are just, if you hold A, they go in a turn in a direction such that it actually moves the craft, uh, turns the craft in that way. So. Like obviously, as before, Q, E, Q raises, E lowers. This is exactly the same as the hovercraft. Now, W, see, pushes them both forward, which pushes the craft forward. S, same thing but backwards. Right? And then if I hit A, D. Right, the control code is a very simple, just sample mapped, uh, sample map setup. So, if you want an explanation of how to set up something like that, look in for my elbow tutorial. It's also on this channel. Um, you may have noticed these both, the turning ones, both come out of the same one, uh, same direction of angle. This is because this and this are technically inverted or, uh, inverted of one another. As you can see, that's got this wider section on the right, this has got the wider section on the left. Looks nicer, um, and it's the same for these two. So they are inverted of one another, so when I wanted them to go the same direction, I put them off the different things from the sample mapper. So one goes the opposite. One technically goes the opposite, although it points the motors in the same direction. And that's basically how I made this submarine. Now, I didn't put any weapons on this, unlike the bomb the bomb pod. But this is that was mostly because the plasma cannon doesn't work underwater. Um, if I was to put a weapon on this, I put a laser on the I put a laser up here on the top, which would cause, which you could toggle on and off, and would just put like a sword thing above you, and as you swam underneath something, it would cut it in two, which at the moment would be the only weapon that would work under, is the only weapon that works underwater, so that's the only way I could see of building, turning this into a military craft. The biggest points with this though, is it is extremely easy to control. If you've managed to find the sunken island on Gaia, um, you would have tried the um, bot that they give you there, and that thing is really difficult to control. Um, whereas this, I can let go, stays in one spot, hold E, Q, like setting positions so easy moving around in the direction I want I can do like full 180 come back at me so easy um, so if you're looking for something a bit easier to control while underwater this is probably your best bet anyway that's me signing off